and welcome to the program. This is Investment Trades, brought to you courtesy of the Zambia Development Agency and ZNBC. The Zambia Development Agency has continued to prioritize the growth of micro, small, and medium enterprises through various business development support services, such as access to finances and market linkages are among the various uh, projects that they've been doing. This week on the program, we get a testimony from Waga Intumuma Kwebo Multipurpose Cooperative Society Limited based in Monzi, Southern Province, on their business trajectory and the benefits of their interactions with the Zambia Development Agency. To take us through this conversation is Faith Hamonga, who is uh, Assistant Business Development Manager. Madam, it's good to have you in the studio. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, Testimonies are uh, familiar with the church. <laughs> <laughs> and today you are here to just share with us a testimony on your interactions with uh, ZDA. But briefly, just tell us more about Baka Into Mumakwebo Limited. Okay. Uh. So, uh, Baka Into Mumakwebo, which actually means women in business, started as an, as an initiative around 2015. So, we started about 2015 and we're looking at sustainable issues that can help. Uh, women and things like that. So we got duly registered in 2018 under the cooperatives of societies. Yeah, and then in 20, uh, 2018 itself, we also got in linkages and got registered as a micro enterprise under Zambia Development Agency. Yeah, so basically, Baka into Mumakwebo is looking at helping give sustainable solutions to most pressing and intractable development problems that women face in our societies. So the, the, the development um, issues span across things like just being able to meet basic needs to sub stabilize women challenges in terms of food security and nutrition, you know, poverty alleviation, access to financial services, and even market integration. So aside from that, our marketing office is based at NAPSA building in Monze. And uh, right now we're setting up a plant um, somewhere, a processing plant in Chief Shona's, um, Chiefdom. Well, beautiful. Well, yeah. I think I think you've uh, been fluent enough actually to to put this uh, whole introduction into place. Now, um, I would like to find out from you how did this whole thing come to be? Um, I I is this a, 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 a something that you birthed as a team, or was a vision you you incorporated and then you called upon to say that it's something that we can do for 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 the for the people of Monze? Yeah, so basically it's got a very humorous story to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it all came about by meeting a certain old lady in the Gwembe area of Monze who was um, literally extracting cooking oil from sesame seeds using stones. And when she was asked, she gave a really interesting uh, tale. She said uh, when she squeezes this oil from, from the sesame seeds, it helps relax her heart yeah, and keep her blood pressure low. So it, 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 you know, sometimes our developmental solutions come from problems that are around us. And so as a team, as a group of people, we thought, well, maybe there's something to sesame seeds. What's this about? So the initiative was to find out what sesame seeds are about. And just, how just, just not to cut you short, but mm. help me. What, what are you talking about when you say sesame seeds? I, I, probably speaking in tongues here. Mm. What, what, else, what seeds are those? <laughs> sesame seeds. So you can literally think of them as the same way we have sunflower. Sunflower, Where yeah. we get extract cooking oil yes, and, yes, yes, and yes. stuff. So we also have sesame seed. Okay, it yeah. just looks like sunflower. Not really. They are tiny, tiny okay. seeds, yeah, and they grow up to about a meter length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like shrubs or something up to a meter length. And so they have these tiny, tiny seeds that... Uh, the production can can be into different things, even things such as um, for confectionery purposes, even okay. bread and 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 bakery issues, uh, things like that. Yeah. So basically, from this woman's narrative, it it sparked some interest, and the endeavor to find out more about this started. So in 2017 to 2018 season, there was literally about four farmers that came together, four mm -hmm. members that decided to grow it. And after growing it, uh, we produced about 3,000 cages in that season alone. And this gave about 900 liters of cooking oil, awesome. uh, which came to about 1,200 bottles of 750 mil uh, cooking oil. And these were sold about, uh, at about 15 kwacha a bottle that brought us in back about 18,000 kwacha. And this is, this is a local product. 
Yes. I this, know this. how expensive cooking oil is mm -hmm. right here in Lusaka. It's, yes. It's, it's, it's uh, quite something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and looking at what you're talking about, it some, sparks some interest here. Mm -hmm. So from the first uh, initiative, you produced about 1,000, 3,000. 3, cages, actually. 3,000 cages worth of the, the seed. And when it was processed, it gave us about 900 liters of the oil, uh, yeah, which came to about 1,200 bottles of mm. 750 mil um, packaging of, of the oil. And so the 2018 to 2019 season, we had, we increased the number of the farmers and 17 farmers got on board and we grew about 9,100 kgs this time around. Mm. And um, we are expected, we expected about 2,900 liters um, and then when we packaged, it came to about uh, 3,888, 750ml uh, cooking oil bottles. Now, this is a cooperative of uh, women or you've got men? We mainly, uh, because this is women in business. This is Raka yeah, I, I, I know, I know. So in everything, as a policy, as a cooperative, our policy is to have more than 70% representation, at least 70% representation of only women. Okay. So basically we have about, uh, like currently we are running a project that has about 65 members in total. So we have uh, 40 women and um, yeah, 25 uh, men. And I should mention that the other, the other ones are young women and, and a, few, a few young men, yeah. Okay, so basically uh, when you look at the numbers, you are mm -hmm. providing employment to to the women folk, the old ladies, the, the young. Okay, let's look at the numbers. Uh, government has continued to spearhead mm -hmm. employment message, you know, mm -hmm. calling up in, in entrepreneurs to mm -hmm. get, on, get involved and be able to capture the, the energy and be able to employ as many youths uh, in, in projects like yours. Mm -hmm. What are the numbers looking like? Okay, so basically uh, permanent staff, we've got about six permanent uh, in the management and implementation uh, staff, um, okay. yes, we have about six, and then we have about 39 seasonal jobs, and uh, these 39 seasonal, uh, seasonal jobs uh, include the women and men that are coming on board to help the farmers with the land preparation, the planting, the weeding, the harvesting, the threshing, clearing, and even packaging. But now with the Zambia development linkage that has enabled us get a grant we we're looking to expand and create 10 more jobs and actually employ about 191 seasonal people that can work beautiful in the beautiful in the you've just mentioned about the, the 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 grant that you received from the zambia agri trade project yes awesome you received about a million what uh, 1.3 1 yeah. million 300, 300 quite sure <laughs> yes. we, we used to dollars <laughs> <laughs> i know 1 I million know. 300 <laughs> thousand kwacha not a small amount but with what you have just explained here uh, mm -hmm. does ring a bell that it's something lucrative that is going to to create opportunities not only for you guys but also for the communities and yes. and the people around let's look at um, mm -hmm. the kind of help that you received because you can't just wake up and be able to access such kind of funds mm -hmm. and there are a lot of people you know there's competition mm -hmm. <laughs> involved yes what kind of help did you get from zda to be able to access the funds that are now uh, being implemented in your project okay so basically zambia development agency has it, it really helps and goes a long way in helping average zambians average ci average citizens get linked to not only just getting financial help but to market linkages and the whole process of applying and getting uh, these kind of monies that you can inject in projects such as ours. So Zambia Development Agency has held our hand from onset, uh, guiding us through the application process until such a point as when the grant was given under the uh, ZATIP, which is Zambia Agribusiness Trade Project. Now that you have uh, the resources that were required for you to grow, to mm. expand, mm -hmm. I'm interested in, in getting from you. What, what about a projection, five years? 10 years plan, how are we looking like? All right, so um, our short-term plan, especially right now, is so that we can complete the cooking or, or the processing plant that we're setting up. So the, the grant that came in is helping us now to 
to construct a processing plant and also get processing equipment so that we can be able to actually process and uh, package our own cooking or our own sesame cooking or our long-term plan uh, we are actually hoping that sesame can be a national grain crop currently i know there's so many people that do not know about sesame grain i know sunflower but is I a didn't household know about it, so. exactly <laughs> exactly so right now we're hoping that a lot more people can know about sesame and that it can become a national grain crop and we also want to go into processing sesame into butter into things like animal feed into things like milk sesame soap and even lotion because that's possible so those are long-term plans and this grant helps us get closer to that goal and also we we plan on multiplying the to become the mm, leading sesame producing company in zambia and even internationally you know you cannot dream too small <laughs> yeah, so, you're, you're, yeah you're so right and zambia is rightly positioned well mm -hmm. interlinked you've got namibia you've got botswana uh, you've got more you, you've got all these countries that are that can benefit from your initiative yeah uh, i'm interested in also learning a bit about the the the, the kind of uh, nutrients that you have in in this crop in the seedlings that you are talking about because you know today we're not just buying stuff we want to learn more about what we are buying so that we have the right knowledge so that the thing that we are putting inside of us uh, do not turn against us so just talk about the sesame uh, seedlings and how important are they? What are the uh, human benefits for consuming products, byproducts of that seedlings? Sesame, yeah. It's, it's actually one of the safest oils around, uh, um, I could say. And like you heard from the old lady that gave us the concept so we could start digging and begin this initiative, actually. She said that it helped her lower her blood pressure. It helped lower her blood pressure and also relax so her. So probably it so has low fat? Yes, it, it certainly has low fat. And um, it's, it's lighter um, compared to maybe other forms of oil. So it's, it's lighter in the body, you know, or is, um, the fattiness of oil in your body is... It, 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 it differs with products, yeah. So sesame is really good for our bodies. It's also good even for females, even for women. Um, I know I read an article once that it, it also helps in hormonal balancing, yeah. Okay. You know, there's a lot of hormonal issues that women face, and sesame products actually help with that. So it, it's, it's, it's a great product to be a part of because not only giving you oil, but confectionery bringing beauty to the... Uh, bakery produce and and things like that yes okay uh, women folk would be happy to know that it can beautify <laughs> the oh, no, tone their skin like. <laughs> <laughs> yes also now where can people access your products all right so um, um initially we were supplying our product to before the market linkages that zambia development agency has provided us in our collaboration with them, we are supplying our product to some boarding schools. We are giving to, we are selling to some local Chinese and Indian stores. But now, with the market linkage that we've been undergoing with Zambia Development Agency, we are now in um, in bed with uh, Pick and Pay, with Beautiful. stores like uh, Freshmark that buys uh, produce that Shoprite actually sells on its um, stores. So basically, right now we are really happy because we're we're getting bigger contracts. And now, because of ZDA, we can actually supply it to pick and pay and even shop right and, and such stores likewise. I shop from shop right and pick and pay. Mm -hmm. I want to use your product. Mm -hmm. I want to use your product. Mm -hmm. What's a brand? All right. Uh, so basically, we, we're branding our sesame. Fortunately, we didn't come with one <laughs> here. But yes, we're branding our sesame into a 750 ml bottle. So I can assure you that most likely the, the sesame oil you find there might have a seal for Baka into Muma yes. So you're watching this program. <laughs> Walk in, pick and pay, shop, right? You look for Baka into Muma sesame Oil. Oh, yes, in 750 <laughs> Let's support meals. local. Let's support local. Yes. This is awesome. I, I'm, I'm so inspired at the fact that you can be able to grow inspiration from just a simple scenario of an old lady. Yes. And be able to grow something that can provide and create employment. Yes. This is awesome. Now, Thank I, I you. want to come to something that is important now is mm -hmm. 
how are you managing the 1,300,000 okay. grant? Okay, so basically... At what point mm -hmm. are we expecting to see the fruits of that amount? Yeah, so basically the first uh, part of where the grant is going, like we mentioned, we are working on the processing plant. So the clearing has happened. We, we are actually putting up adverts. The contractors are coming on board to to bid so that they can build the, the, the processing mm -hmm. plant. And the, the processing equipment will be on its way soon enough so that we can begin to actually process and actually package our own sesame oil and also even the seed itself so that we can be able to avail it even on a much larger scale. So it's the injection of the, the grant money is going towards uh, building more capacity. Of course, it's going, going to employ more people at the mm. processing plant, even the farmers themselves, and, and basically even the, the equipment that's coming, that's add, added value to the setup. Because like I said, our processing plant is being set up in Chief Chona's area mm. in Monza. And so this is a typical uh, uh, rural area, but now it's going to have this that's coming to add value and sustainable development that's going to stay even long after the project. This is awesome. Congratulations. Thank and, you uh, so much. I like the fact that you, you're taking it right into the place where we expect people, instead of people coming to Lusaka, yeah. now they can just stay there and, yes. and, and be able to maximize the On project the and the opportunity that yes. you have presented. Now, yes. there are a lot of uh, the, these ASMEs who doubt the, the capacity of ZDA uh, taking their hand and trusting them to say they can work with ZDA and mm -hmm. be able to see uh, a reality of what you are seeing right now. What's your word to the people who are doubting that ZDA exists for their purpose? Well, we are a living testimony. <laughs> yeah, we are a living testimony and uh, quite a number of other SMEs, smaller businesses and cooperatives are a testimony. I can only say that people should look at finding out when when they there's um you know they they put up on their websites about people coming in with applications for s a lot of uh ventures that you can be involved in and also uh the patients to be able to allow them to walk you through the process of applying the right way of doing every other uh step the right way so that you can get to a point where you're given this grant Otherwise, ZDA would take your business from something really small to, to making it a top-notch business. That's for sure. Your concluding remarks? Well, our concluding remarks being the fact that Zambia Development Agency has helped our business from essentially being so small to actually becoming something that is going to not only add value to to women, but it's going to add value to their families and consequently the nation. They've linked us to the right markets, they've, uh, they've helped us financially, and they've also helped us in business development, which we hope to see at a wider scale in our country, Zambia. So yes, these opportunities are there and we encourage many more Zambians to take them up and apply. Thank you so very much, Thank Faith. You it's so been much. awesome having you. Thank Your you testimony so does um, you know, ring a bell, oh, okay. <laughs> but it's time. So you're an ent entrepreneur, you've been looking, shopping for opportunities. Well, just open up your eyes. There's so many things that are happening. Government is unfolding, and government is giving out those uh, grants through agencies, and agencies are established basically to be able to aid you, to help you be established, grow, and expand, just like we have heard from Waga into Mumakwebo. Something small becoming big, and influencing and employing people. That's what we are looking out for. And ZDA exists for such a purpose like this one. So mm -hmm. I've been your host, Hez Running Gosso. Join me next week with yet another informative program right here.
my food. I think I need some energy. Pass me a kung fu. <laughs> Scratch that. Pass me a kung fu. Pass me a kung fu, bro. Show me power, show me kung fu And that's why I can see your power deep inside If you really wanna do it, you know you can fly No excuse, no apologies, do you? Show me what you got, at least your power kung fu Trade Kings, improving lives Let's go into a world of taste and wonder, where homegrown natural ingredients burst with the flavor of real buttery love. From the skilled bakers at Amazon comes a fabulous shortbread biscuit baked to absolute perfection. Chelsea Shortbread Biscuits, made with real butter for that superb melt-in-your-mouth experience. Once you take a bite of Chelsea Shortbread Biscuits, you experience the wonder and magic that goes into the making of perfect shortbread biscuit. So take a bite and enjoy Chelsea Shortbread Biscuits from Amazon. We bake them better. Trade Kings, improving lives. Test of a perfect summer. You are my guest at every dinner. You'll be exciting about them killer. You are the reason I am with her. You don't sell, you don't sell any good to me, Lily. Life is better with you every day. You are the reason I'm feeling this way. Can nobody take this away? You're my fruity, fruity, fruity kind of. You're the test of a perfect summer. Cause of you all I have no other. Introducing Fruticana fruit juice. Fruticana, find your fruity side. Vatata, you're here. I thought you said lunch. Oh, come on, my son. I cannot wait to see my first ever grandson. As a young modern wife, entertaining my wapongoshi was always a mini nightmare. But today, I'll treat them to a special traditional secret. <coughs> Tata, my my sen. Oh, thank you very much, my daughter. Thank you very much. This member woman really knows how to prepare this chibwantu. Exactly like you from southern province. Please give me some more. Times have changed, but some things in life shouldn't. Introducing Ama Sip Sip Chibwantu traditional maize drink. Traditional taste that has stood the test of time. Ah, last time I had such nice chibwantu was at home. Prepared by my mother. Ama Sip Sip Chiwantu, a taste of local tradition. Trade Kings, improving lives. This is Chileshi, and this is Kangwa. They have not seen each other in two years. They are so overjoyed that not even James can stop them from expressing that. Teganyali, guys. Introducing Hygienics Hygiene Soap, now with active silver technology and other multi-purpose bacterial killers that fight off 99.9% .9 of gems. Give yourself the protection you need. Hygienic Soap, you are safe in our hands. One Zambia, one, Zambia. one nation.